Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Today's lecture we will be discussing about CSS margins. How we can use CSS to control the margins around a particular tag. Whether that tag is paragraph, heading or any other tag you are using. I am Dr. Dushan Bhatti. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you are here for the first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe icon so that you can watch more videos related to this topic. Let's begin. So, margins are basically uh, referring to uh, your space from the starting of the page till the text that starts. So, if the page starts here, the gap between uh, how far that text should start from your border of your page, right? This is basically what margin refers. So, if my page is here, this is the gap between the text that starts and the page that starts. This is what uh, basically refers to as margin. Even if you come into Microsoft Word, you would sort of this uh, white area is the start of the page this gray area is basically nothing so page starts from here and from here till this particular point this is the margin right so there's no text here and the text will not be appearing here the text starts from almost one inch off from the page and at the same time the ending area also is the half an inch so this is where the page ends and this is where the last character would appear and then it will automatically wrap so this gray dark gray areas basically define your margins in your microsoft word same thing happens in your for example HTML document as well. We control the content position with respect to margins as well. We control that how uh, close the text appears with your border of your HTML or how further away it may appear. Okay. So what we do is we come into our CSS code and once we are here, we have used this CSS previously as well. And this was a simple output. Now, so for example, I sorry, for example, I have this CSS. Uh, this HTML page, but the last paragraph I don't want to start right from the border. See, this there's a very small gap from the end of the start of the browser and the text that appears. I want this this gap to be a little bit more, or the tag gap between this uh, heading tag and this heading tag, this paragraph to be a little bit more, or at this bottom. So what we do is we use a simple margin tag. So what we can do is we can use it for all paragraphs or this p dotted paragraph. Remember, this p dotted paragraph is a paragraph. This is, has a particular class. So only this setting will be applied on this paragraph. All other paragraphs would be using a common general paragraph attribute. Okay, so a general attribute. So we can specify generally for every single paragraph, or we can specify it with a single uh, specific paragraph as well. So for example, if I come back here, let's specify in general. I use a tag called margin. Now margins again has top, left, bottom, right, everything available, or in general as well. So it depends on what you want to do. So let's start with margin left from the left side of the page margin left for example i want it to be uh, let's just say for example uh, 30 right and then we use the units px <coughs> and semicolon px for pixels so this basically means the 30 pixels from your left would be the left as a blank and your paragraphs would always start after 30 pixels okay so control s we go back into our browser okay what happened here oh, sorry so we go back into our browser and refresh so now as soon as i refresh note that there's automatically a gap of 30 pixels before every paragraph okay because we have generally specified for every single paragraph so if i come back into my css i think i don't want that if i want to come back into my css where's my css here it is so we have a 30 margin pixels from over uh, for our text i can come back here i can specify margin uh, dash right and then again at this moment we can specify for example 10 percent okay semicolon now here i've used a percentage we can use px as well the second way is do using percentage sometimes percentage is a reasonably good one um, i don't know uh, it says that it makes your page a little bit more responsive uh, let's just try this one out so on the right side we have given 10 percent and on the left margin we have given 30 pixels okay uh, and this again is for generally every single paragraph not for specific paragraph so when i come back here control s oh sorry not control s refresh i press control s again and again so once i refresh see this there's a 10 percent gap here so 10 percent means your if your page is like 100 percent calculate the 10 percent of it and add that gap here okay so for example the page is like a thousand pixels okay so thousand pixels width is your page so 10 percent means 100 pixels so now we have a 100 pixels gap here this is what basically a percentage we would refer to. So once you use uh, 10, uh, 10 pixels from your right border, okay? So it will start to calculate from right side and 10 percentage from there. So if, for example, if you want to 50%, so you means that your paragraph should appear only at the 50% screen. So we can come back here and we can specify, for example, 50%. Now this should mean that 50% of your entire screen. So if you have 1000 pixels, automatically it will leave 50% pixels. In other words, 500 pixels blank on your left side. So if I 
Come back here, hit a refresh, and you would find that now your text of this becomes or centrally aligned at one fifty percent of your page. The rest fifty percent is blank, maybe for some other content that you want to print there. Okay, so uh, this is basically what percentage sometimes allows us to do. Uh, the advantage is that sometimes if you decrease the border size, you would note that that fifty percent ratio is maintained. That is why sometimes using percentage becomes more feasible because of the different screen size. So depending on your screen size. your website content would adjust automatically here we use the word called responsive okay responsive means your website responds to the screen size so depending on what screen size you are using your website would automatically behave for that it's always recommended in certain cases we use percentage now here percentage means that 50% of my screen would automatically be left blank percent not pixels so depending on your screen size if you are using mobile phone tablet screens landscape or portrait view mobile screens uh, for example and laptop screens that are 8 inch 10 inch 13 inch 15 inch there are different sizes of screen uh, sizes so based on that your screen automatically would be adjusted the page would automatically be adjusted that is the major beauty of it right so if i reduce the page size you can see this that the 50% ratio is being maintained and my content are automatically being adjusted to ensure that 50% area is left blank okay that's the beauty of it okay so that is why we use the word responsive the responsive basically means my website content are responding to the screen size okay in this case using the margin attribute so if i uh, size it to a normal position now i have 50% ratio so let me just cut this back into 50 and pixels okay and control s okay so now if i come back hit a refresh now 50 pixel gap is there so if i come back what it should do is that it will have a 50% uh, pixels on the left similarly on top as well you can also specify for margins in other words if i have this there are dotted are available okay for this dotted i want to say that this paragraph when it starts it should have a margin uh, top which is again for example 50 uh, pixel okay now this 50 pixel means that if i come back here this is original output the last line that is there for example the heading tag after heading give me 50 pixels of gap okay so after the heading give me 50 pixel per uh, gap it will calculate these 50 pixels after the last tag ended so the last tag ended at this particular line after this calculate the 50 pixels so if i do refresh now we have a 50 pixel gap here okay as simple as that from top as well using this you can easily control the margins spaces that how much space appears before a certain content that may appear so you may have a menu at the top but and then the next option would appear exactly immediately below it you don't want that you want a certain gap to be there some space to be there you can have that space by controlling the margins top left bottom and any other way so margins are basically very quick and easy way to control the position of your margin okay then we come into what we call the next topic basically it is uh, let's what 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 we should be next margin uh, what will be the output of the following code this is a simple output uh that has some height and default image ratios uh, i will not talk about that layer now um and the positions is uh, again i think margins is same options available here paragraph margin top left bottom and then again there's a paragraph with the class structure that has a margin 25 50, 50. and now okay let's discuss that okay so uh because margin is supposed to be left right top bottom there is a way where you can specify same margin attributes within same line instead of writing all these different syntax so for example here i have specified margin top to be separate margin bottom to be separate right to be separate left to be separate you can specify all these four properties in one line so this would be top bottom right and left okay which sometimes i don't recommend uh, it, it becomes very confusing this is more understandable that what basically we are trying to do but again yes there is a short margin way or short way of specifying what we basically try to do okay so uh, margins are basically uh, spaces before the content okay whatever content you are using whether it's image whether it's a heading whether it's a paragraph we use margins to control the space before af or uh, after the space so before usually for example can be top bottom would be basically mean after that particular content okay hopefully this topic uh, again is clear the next topic we will be discussing about the padding attribute okay um, so do stay tuned uh, if you are here for, for the first time don't forget to subscribe this is dr shambhadi thank you very much for watching